As we understand, we have uh, something from Jackie Hyland, who's right now down at uh, uh, City Hall Park. Uh, Jackie? Marvin, I'm being joined right now by a New York City firefighter, Morel Gibbs. He's been battling this fire, this destruction since 11 o'clock this morning. I believe you were in Tower 1 and 2. Can you share some of your experiences with us? It's awful in there. It's, just, uh, it's devastating. And Tower 1, uh, we went in to try to rescue people, but it collapsed again. It made us run back out, and we was in fear for our other fire to fires. Right now, we got numbers of police officers unaccounted for. We got firemen. They're unaccounted for, and we're still trying to rescue, but because of the fear of the collapse and, I mean, the flames engulfed, it's so hot to get in there and save people, and right now, we're doing the best we can. Can you just give us a brief description of what it looks like down there? It looks like Vietnam. I wouldn't kid you, I wouldn't lie. They would say Vietnam, that's what it looks like. It looks that devastating. It looks like a movie set that's something that's it's unbelievable. Now, are they taking some of the victims out? Right now, we, we have took out two, but we can't even reach the other ones. Right now, it's so devastating there, we can't even reach nobody. It must be frustrating for you as a firefighter because this is what you do. You go to try to help people. No, we want to help, we want to rescue, but right now we feel, you know, our hands are tied, but we're doing the best we can. It must be very difficult on you having to wear this gear all day long. Since 11 o'clock this morning you've been in there, you must be exhausted. No, we're a little tired, but that's what we train for. Have you reached out to your family? I'm sure they must be worried about you. No, my mom knows I'm all right, everything. I think my family knows I'm okay. Now, there has been word circulating out here on the street that there are many firefighters and police officers unaccounted for, as you just mentioned. Can you give us a brief insight into that? Right now, I think about probably two stations are unaccounted for. Um, there's no numbers, no one's saying nothing. Uh, a lot of firefighters are shook up, hurt over it. I mean, we want to get in there and try to rescue these guys, but we got to kill the flames. We got to slow the heat down. So the flames are still going at this hour? Yes, and debris. We're still scared for the buildings collapsing. Building one collapsed again, even though it collapsed twice. And we got one building down there. This It's no more building. It's just burned up. And there's probably a lot of smoke still down there, right? It is. A lot of debris. It must be very hard to breathe for you. Yes, it is. It's, it's, our eyes are taking the worst beating right now. Right. Where are you heading right now? Are you heading for a break? Yes, I am. Headed for a break to the car, and then after that, I'm going back in. What do you hope to do when you go back in right now? I hope to go back in and save somebody. You think there are still people in there that are alive at this hour? I think so. Well, you are doing a phenomenal job, as is all of New York City, both firefighters, police officers, and we want to thank New York City firefighter Morel Gibbs for joining us. And we're going to send it right back to you now, Marvin. Thank you. Describing it as a scene like Vietnam, and uh, there could possibly be some people buried beneath that rubble in pockets there. Let's hope and pray that they can be found. But just imagine how much debris, all that rubble, all that well, he mortar. Was saying, so far, all he wants to do is save somebody, but he hasn't uh, run across any bodies yet. Mm -hmm. Just debris and the fire is still burning. He looked completely, completely exhausted. Yeah. But uh, the, the way he's just matter of factly said, I'm just going to rest for a few minutes and then I'm going to go back in. And this is my yeah. job. It's just incredible. You breathe heavily when you hear of those things. Vietnam, yeah. um, war zone, a surreal, nuclear you know, disaster, like a nuclear disaster. These are the things we've been hearing over and over and over again. And again, today. that site is just absolutely, it looks like something from a movie where a digital effect has obliterated those twin towers of the World Trade Center, except unfortunately this is all too real. In addition to the Twin Towers going down today, we should mention around 5 o'clock, we also lost another building, number 7 World Trade Center, where the fire was burning all day and they feared it would collapse. And shortly after 5 o'clock, that 60-story building also tumbled to the ground. And